So, all right, we're back out in the garage. I know, I know. Uh, today we get the new meats mounted up and on the car. Hope you stick around. Alright, so as you can see, I'm gonna pull these wheels and tires off here. I'm gonna get my new slicks mounted up onto them. Since I put this new radius in, these tires are too tall, so I can't even move the car. So uh, I did find a shop, a tire place, that will um, break these down and put the new rims on. It's a no contact. Drop off, pick them up, and be on our way. So let me get these off here. Sure to have some fun with these. Alright, so here are the tires. I'm going with the 10.5s so I can run in a 10.5 class. And uh, we're going to get these mounted on there today. Alright, so let me show you what I'm running here. So we'll start with the rims. These right here, I don't know the, the brand of them. I know it's a replica tire. So it's a remix, but I don't know the brand of it. Um, it is a 4.5 pattern because of my Ford rear. So the bolt pattern is a 4.5. So I had a hard time. I wanted to get another set of these rims, but I couldn't find um, these rims. I could find them in a 4.75 bolt pattern, but I couldn't find them in a 4.5. So, I mean, I'm sure if I work hard enough, I'll can find them. But, yeah, but these are nice. I mean, nothing wrong. And I just wanted to get the different bowl pattern, get the tire underneath the car a little bit more. I got plenty of room on the backside and not much on the outside. So, I wanted to try to do something different with that. But, anyway, um, so here's the tires. They are Mickey Thompson's. Um, 275-6015s. And they're ET Street Radials. I wanted to go with the radials so I can do the 10.5 radial class. So here it is that tread pattern. So I don't really know much about them. I I asked around before I bought these. Um, the guy that tubbed out the Dream Sickle for me um, runs the street radio tires, and he runs these. And he wasn't sure about hooking up, and man, he said he'll never go back to anything else. So um, there I am. But we're going to get these mounted on the car. And uh, see how they fit. They uh, they look like they're a little tall still, so we'll see. 
All righty, let's get them under the car. All right, so this is the front tire and rim. Again, I, I don't know the brand of that. Look how dirty that rim is. Man, I need to, that's a shame. You know how it is. You get to working and not so much cleaning, so they need to be cleaned. Um, so that's the that that's a good look right there. I did a video on on the gold when I did the gold in these. So if you want to see that, go back through my videos and you'll see how I took that apart and painted them gold. I mean, but anyway, um, I I love the tire pattern on this. The name of the tires is on Nankane. Nankang, I don't know, but uh, it's a foreign brand, but it's a pretty popular brand. I mean, it's decent tire. I looked it up because I, I mean, this is going to sound terrible, but I've never heard of the tire. But from what I understand, it's a good tire. It's pretty popular. I mean, it's getting more popular as it goes. But anyway, I really like the tread pattern on this. So, so when it's time to change the tires on the Dream Sickle, I think I'm going to go with something a little bit like this. Those, my other ones are a little, it's a little fatter and I don't know. I just like this a whole lot better. So here is the Dream Sickles. See how it's like fatter than those tires. It's got a nice pattern, nice tread pattern to it, but definitely fatter. So I think the other tires will look more racy, sportier on it. But she needs to be a little bit more sporty. And here is the back tires. Oh, who's your daddy? There you go. And it's got a deep tread on that. And some meats under that bad boy. So, yeah. So definitely, my dream sickle. Definitely those other tires. Not the rims, but the tires look better on this. One. So there you go. So anyway, there is a little rim and tire set up. Right there. And right there. These are a little cleaner. So, All right, let's get back to work, man. And there's the new meats, 10.5, that way I can run the 10.5 uh, class like I was saying earlier. And uh, yeah, here we go, man. Let's get these things going. These aren't as tall as the other ones, so it should sit right nice in that wheel well. That's what I'm hoping anyway. The stiff as the rear is in this thing. It's going to give a little bit, but it ain't going to squat real hard. Not like a typical suspension would. Nice. 
All right, so there it is. It's nice, right? It's nice. I like the radius with the lip on it, the panel in there. I think it just looks more complete. I don't know. Not that there's anything wrong with it, just cutting it out. Took a little bit more work, but I like it better myself, personally. So there you go. All right.